And we're gonna try this out on live stream. If you're not familiar with our live stream, we live stream on five different platforms every single day. So things that I'm telling you guys about or I'm changing with my badges, you can come on out and see if they're actually working. Please follow me on Twitter at All City Live TV. We send out notifications for every single video upload and live stream. We talk about badges, builds, and everything related to NBA 2K. So come join us. Hey, what's up, YouTube? You already know, it's All City Live TV, and thank you for tuning in. Today, we're gonna be talking about defensive badges. One thing that continues to elude me and stay consistent for my player is the defense, and I wanna get into defensive badges. Maybe you guys could help me out out there if you guys are go to... Now, I'm not talking about players with, like, super high defensive attributes that are pretty much lockdowns out there. I got a 14 badge setup in defense and that should be good enough. I'm a 6-5 two-way slashing playmaker. We're going to go into our defensive badges and see what I got set up to, for today. I'm going to give this a try and the reason why I'm giving different badges a new look is because the defense is not solid out there. I'm Very often I'm swerving a lot on defense. Now I'm going to show you guys my normal defensive badge setup this will be my normal defensive badge setup I'll take that off put that on and lightning reflexes will come off and I'll put tireless defender on this is what's been the most successful for me on defense that's not to say that I play amazing defense out there I'm just saying when my player is not completely swerving out of the way this is what's been the most successful but I'm still suffering through some slight swerving and misdirections and I'm just like I I can't really get a handle on what's going on with the defense again I appreciate the feedback from super high defenders out there, but I'm talking about, I'm a 6'5", two-way slashing playmaker. I should have better defense, and I have fairly decent uh, defensive attributes, but some players out there create their players to play defense. My player wasn't necessarily created to play defense, but more balanced across the board is what I wanted. I just want to be able to play better defense, point blank period. I've seen smaller players with minimum wingspan get in passing lanes like crazy and it's super annoying when you know they only got like a few defensive badges and they're in these passing lanes or guarding slashers in the paint with very little defensive attributes in it or guarding people out on the perimeter with no defensive attributes staying in front of players that it, it just shouldn't happen in that way so I'm giving different looks to different badges and we're gonna try these all out on live stream which I want you guys to kind of hopefully you guys can participate in today's live stream because I'm gonna give this this new badge setup a look here and the reason why I'm doing this is because I the way things work for me is if I go through badge setups that should be ideal for especially my type of player and they don't work at all now very often we play good defense as a team but me one-on-one -on -one guarding almost anybody they get past me like none you're talking about rookies out there who just started the game they're getting past me like none my player doesn't clamp up or lock up i used to be able to play fairly decent defense but then it just felt like 2k was ever so changing on me and i had to kind of try my best to adjust and one of the biggest issues that I have in 2k is keeping up with my opponent off ball so I'm just like man is off ball pest something that I should make a priority should I we're gonna try again we're gonna try this out on live stream if you're not familiar with our live stream we live stream on five different platforms every single day so things that I'm telling you guys about or I'm changing with my badges you can come on out and see if they're actually working so I'm gonna try Try out off ball pest today. I've tried this out in the past and I didn't see the full benefits of it. But maybe now I gotta keep a closer eye on what's going on with off ball because I really dislike people just getting open. And you got slow players that I can't keep up with for some strange reason when it comes to off ball. They're just like totally out of my grasp and trying to contain them it's so odd sometimes sometimes i know maybe you guys are experiencing the same thing every now and then but oh man like last night was really frustrating even playing the game and watching what was happening out there and seeing your player not play to his full potential it's just really kind of discouraging so 
that led me to today's video and changing up these defensive badges so if you guys are goaded on defense out there and you can offer your recommendation i'd appreciate it and i'm sure a lot of other people in the comment section would appreciate it as well so we're going to try our off ball pass to hopefully stay in front of our defender or near our uh, not stay in front of our defender but stay in front of an off ball opponent that's what i should say the opponent that's trying to get all open off ball that's what we're trying to stay in front of or at least contain and then we're gonna go with lightning reflexes now again one of the homies said that lightning reflexes is being ran with on hall of fame by the top players so what the homie does what the homie turk does is he goes to like stage and sees the top players out there or he'll join up on somebody that he knows and he'll check their badge setup so he can make the proper adjustments for himself i think everybody for the most part is not it, like people aren't reaching their full potential on defense there's a lot of there's a lot of weird animations that are happening on defense i think everybody for the most part struggles here and there if you made a lockdown then your expectation is super high for getting into passing lanes getting blocks and stopping the ball handler you know your your um standard is just increased because you created this build to play defense and when you don't meet your standard you get disappointed you kind of want to go on the the search to figure out some answers on how to really adjust your defensive badge setup because you got the build and the attributes to make things happen on defense but it doesn't meet your standards it's just not there so we're gonna try lightning reflexes because we know that some of the top players run lightning reflexes and i gotta tell you man without lightning reflex without lightning reflexes without off ball pests and equipping the standard badges that the maybe go-to badges like making sure clamps is on intimidator pickpocket tireless defender and pick dodger you know these are some of the go-to badges that a lot of people um recommend and i gotta say that i've run these badges and i've been using these badges consistently for a long enough period of time to see what i'm disappointed in to see hey you know what maybe it's time for a change because these badges together aren't giving me exactly what i want so can we make some adjustments and see if we can kind of at least get a step ahead maybe take one baby step in the right direction so we can see where we want to go with our defensive badge setup so that's what we're going to be trying out on live stream lightning reflexes on gold clamps on gold and off ball pests in today's live stream so come on out and join us we love to hear your feedback on defensive badges in nba 2k20 i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please consider subscribing to our channel as we're going to have a ton of nba 2k20 content coming your way catch you guys in the next video